Elvis here. Uh, many thanks for joining me for another Somerset Real Ale review. Um, I've got a beer here that, um, <clears throat> I'll be honest, um, I, I just picked it up out of the supermarket because um, I just did. I, 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 I've, uh, this brewery, Green King, um, I, I, I don't really know much about them, but they seem to me to be quite a big mass-produced brewery, which is the sort of beers that I kind of stay away from, but I don't really know why, I just I just do, I'd rather go for smaller craft breweries, you know, little small breweries, and, and try and, you know, give my business to them, but um, to be honest, I don't really, I don't, you know, I, I don't know what the beer's going to be like, um, I mean, it's an IPA export, um, I'm a big fan of IPAs, um, it is in a clear glass 500ml bottle, which, um, as you, if you know about clear glass bottles, they can be subject to light strike, which in turn skunks the beer, makes it go a funny skunky smell. Um, sort of, it affects the hops. But, you know, to be fair, it, it was £1.80, you know, it's nothing really for trying a beer anyway. So, anyway, we'll give it a go and see what it's like. It says fine ale, crafted in Bury St Edmunds, Suffolk, 5% ABV, official beer of rug England rugby. Okie dokie. Nothing much on the opening. There's the crown. No, I did just get a whiff of skunk there. Um, if anything, I, I, I'll review. I mean, I know it's it's wasting my own money, but I'll review beers in clear glass bottles that are skunked. That are, no, are probably going to be skunked. For the simple fact that I don't think it's fair that breweries put beer in clear glass bottles because they do it because it looks better. But at the end of the day, if it ruins the taste of the beer, what's the point? You you, you might as well just put I don't know tea in 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 a in a in a, in a, um, in a clear glass bottle and just say well there you go. But anyway, let's let's dig. In. Let's, let's have a snooze. A nose. No, let's um. See the colour first. Well, obviously you can see the colour in the bottle, but it's kind of toffee coloured, coffee. Um, yeah, toffee, maybe coppery. It's got a just off white, quickly dissipating tan coloured head or light tan. There's a little bit of. Um, see the condition of the beer, the lacing left on the side of the glass. That's pretty good. Let's get the nose in. Now it has got a slight skunky smell. Um, it's not massive, by far not the worst. I love a nose in the bottle. Yeah, the bottle actually smells worse than the, but it's not actually too bad. I pulled this one right from the back of the shelf because in the day I, I do want to drink it. You know, um, if you as a, that is a trick. If, you, if there's a beer you really like in a clear glass bottle, Tanglefoot's one. I love Badger Brewery's Tanglefoot. If if I I mean I don't generally buy it, but if I were to buy it, I'd pull one right from the back of the shelf, so it's been in the least amount of light. But I'm getting a very muted, zesty aroma from it. It's got kind of a a multi digestive biscuit note to it as well. Kind of getting a bit of um sort of um a hay smell from it too. It's, it's, it's still, it's nice, there is a nice zesty aroma from that actually. Which you would expect from it being an IPA. You know, with, with a lot of hoppage going on in there in an IPA. Yeah, well I think it smells, it smells pretty good. Let's dig in. Cheers. Actually, quite a nice beer. I'm getting a bubblegum flavour to it. It has got a decent hoppy, sharp, bitter finish. I'll tell you what I like most about this beer, though, is the carbonation level. It's perfect, spot on. It's not too busy, and it's not it's not flat. You do get a ton of kind of a nutty. Aftertaste. But 
but to give it its due, that is a really drinkable beer. I shouldn't have slated it before I um, reviewed it really, but you know, it's just my personal feelings um, about um, certain beers and brewers and why they do things like clear glass bottles, it just for, you know, oh man, nice zesty burp on it as well. Just for marketing purposes, I think, you know, that sort of dumbing down and patronising their customers a bit really, which I think is not, not really a good uh, good thing to do. But, you know, I'm not in marketing, so it's probably why. It's got a sort of nice sweet malty aftertaste to this beer. It's along After that zestiness has died away, you get a prolonged maltiness left on the back of your tongue. It is actually a really nice beer this, I'm not, <laughs> I can't lie, <clears throat> I actually really like this. Not getting anything from that, that um, skunky flavour, so that you know this one, I've been quite lucky with this. Uh, Green King IPA Export, Fine Ale, Crafted in Bury St Edmunds, Suffolk. Um, Green King, oh, I've said that already. Uh, Green King IPA Export is brewed to a stronger 5% to truly bring out the flavour of this award winning beer. Brewed in the heart of the Suffolk countryside in Bury St Edmunds, the characteristic hoppy taste and aroma comes from the use of Challenger and First Gold hops, which are combined with pale and crystal malts to create this perfectly balanced beer. Of exceptional quality and heritage. Um, assure, assured Farm Foods. I'll let you. Um, there's the label on the front. You want to read that on the back and pause it. There you go. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's not a bad beer. Well, it's a good beer. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to give that. That's going to have to get a seven and a half out of ten because it, it is actually a good beer. Um, although it would probably get higher if it if it wasn't in the clear glass bottle, which possibly gave it that initial skunky smell. Although in this case it's died away, so um, yeah, I mean it's it's not a bad beer. That it's worth trying. That I mean if you if you could, I mean only got a little shop or a small supermarket, and you can't get many beers, and they've got that, that is worth worth getting hold of. That at least you can have a pint, you know. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. Um, love to see your comments in the comments box, and I'll always reply to your comments, and I'll hopefully catch you on the next review. Cheers.